It's Chris on Nano here on Nano about, Nano about Poppy on a windy and wet uh, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I've just come down to do the, some jobs, uh, the glamour job of boating, empty the toilet and fill up a water. Uh, it's a job us boaters have got to do. Still, that's how it goes. Uh, just a quick discussion on the, my videos I've put on up lately. Uh, I put one up recently of uh, Trenton. Uh, I went for a walk past the mausoleum uh, with Molly and Kuki and over the River Trent. That seems a few weeks ago now, but it isn't that long. It was a lovely walk. Uh, it was dry, that's the main thing. We've had that much rain, you've got to take advantage of when it's dry. We, we don't get much blue sky and uh, the, the sun doesn't shine, but uh, it's coming now, like I say, we're into February now, so get February and March, then we're here, we'll get some decent weather, in uh, dark and gloomy and wet, still we get there, we're on the, the nights are drawing out now, you can really tell. Then uh, I also did, uh, Jane and I went to Manchester, and I did a video there, we, did, we had to get, go around some shops first, with Jane Primart and all them sort of jobs, and I made a video up Canal Street, uh, it's very awkward following that Rochdale Canal because uh, it's locked up most of it is. Well, the top end anyway, up by Piccadilly. I think it's all right as it goes down to Deansgate. We haven't got that far yet. Uh, like I say, there's been a lot, a lot of bodies dragged out of that canal, and I think there's about eighty in three years. So at night they lock it up. It's not a nice place to go at all. Anyway, I made one at Canal Street, uh, and that's done quite well. Uh, we went. We we go on the train. It's only about ten quid. It isn't worth going in the car. I say go spoons for breakfast, then hit the shops and I do a video. Uh, then I went up. I've done another video of Hanchurch Water Tower. It's a place I've never actually been up to. You can see it from most all over Stoke on Trent. But uh, I went up and I made a video. Uh, it isn't it, that particular water tower and reservoir isn't in use now. Just a bit further along, they've uh, Seven Trent have made a new uh, water tower res new reservoir. Sorry, uh, it feeds Stoke on Trent and the Newcastle area. Uh, that water tower was built in 1892. It's a right spooky place. Uh, it's uh, I wouldn't like being up there on my own, but to say it's it's, uh, it's a nice place. I know there's a pumping station down at Mel Reese, uh, and it's a steam one, and every so often they, they fire it up. It doesn't pump the water, but all the steam engines are going. Uh, I took my, my kids when they were little, and I know that pumped up to there. And I think it's the springs and everything feed it now. Anyway, they made a new reservoir, and that particular reservoir is, is redundant now, and the water tower. What they'll do with it, I don't know, but they should... With a lot of these water towers and pumping stations, they seem to make it into apartments. <clears throat> There's one uh, not far away from there, and uh, it's a place called Stableford, and they fetch very, very good money. But the buildings are very well, very well constructed. And also, uh, I've found out the mystery of the little surface tunnel. <clears throat> uh, I pass it twice a day, and I found it accidentally. Uh, walking the dogs there, and I went for a little nose. It's like a little corner field. Well, the gate was down there. I think a car's gone through it. Uh, and I had a look at the the, the, the old tunnel there. <clears throat> uh, I couldn't find any literature on the particular tunnel. Uh, all, all it just says on the internet is there's a railway bridge put there in 1914, uh, and they, they never carried. They, they wanted to carry the Trentham track on down over the A34 and across to uh, Cliff Vale and on to, uh, Trent Vale, sorry, and on to Newcastle. Uh, I went down, I was advised to go down Newcastle Library and see if they could see any, any information. Anyway, there was a local historian there. I didn't speak to him, but he wasn't there, but I told this chap all about it, made a note, and he phoned me back and he says it was a, <coughs> a little um, subway. You, you could tell it was some kind of subway because it wasn't underground. And it, they were going to uh, build the track down to Trenton where it was, then over the fields. But the fields were floodplains, so they'd have to 
put the railway track on stilts uh, and that's what it's built for so you could get under the track he did mention that for the services I mean there is a sewer pipe there and he did mention that so uh, that set of the set, set. I worked on the internet and there's the bridge they called it is a big tower bridge metal bridge it's put there in 1914 uh, just the start of world war world war one and I think it was really well, was related to that he, he told me uh, and the bridge was pulled down in 1940 and cut up for scrap for world war two so I made a video on there I would love to have gone into the field where, where it actually is but there's a load of sheep and uh, no my luck I would have gone over the gate and it's fallen down then a load of sheep would have gone onto that A34 that fast dual carriageway and it just be my luck that would <laughs> I'd be arrested and like I say we don't there's quite a few sheep in that field and they don't take much boring out of a little old do we so <clears throat> I, 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 I didn't I, I got right up to it and you can see a lot of it from the footpath and I went round the other end so I didn't do bad but I wasn't willing to go in and like I say the sheep get out of the field like I say that would be disastrous then I went to Stone and they made a video there I had a walk up the canal there's quite a bit of activity on the canals now uh, a few boats going up and down and I can't wait till the green greens come out and we can get out on narrow, narrow boat poppy and also I've made uh, 4,000 subscribers which is absolutely brilliant and breathtaking thank you thank you to all and I've got a YouTube uh, app and it tells you where where you where, where the mainly where your viewers are well there's only about 40 percent in the UK uh, believe it or not the, the I've got a good percentage of viewers in the U, uh, United States uh, some in Russia uh, Ukraine and Turkey like I say I've got them all over the world but I've, I've only got about 40 percent subscribers a UK which uh, it's very surprising but that's the way it is anyway thanks very much for subscribing every one of you i'm dead dead chuffed and keep on giving the thumbs up and subscribing right i'll go do the walk of shame now empty the toilet it's dead windy again and fill up poppy of water so again thanks very much for all subscribing and uh, I'll see you again, so all hope you have a great, great day, and let's get April and get some decent weather. Okay, bye!